This is Ross Wood case presented by Team Six, uh, Abigail Ransaw and Abdul bin Harkin. We will be presenting the problems and symptoms. The problem is that Claw the Chief Accountant proposed accounts be payable to be moved from accounting to supply. And Ross Wood, a newly promoted, is also working in prior demand from Dickinson's president to reduce that account and to deliver savings of 200 million. The symptoms include a newly appointed vice president and smaller companies recently acquired, invoices not matching, and communication between departments. Alternative number one would be a SEP clause proposal. Claude Dankin, a chief accountant, to transition personnel from accounts payable to supply. Pros, Claude, source, source work study specialist to measure productivity, and they will have a 30% productivity reduction from having to clarify invoices. The cons would be that they will not solve the reduced headcount from the supply department. Ross would be tasked to handle all inquiries from the accounts payable. Alternative two would be to employ Ross's original idea that he was working on for the president. Ross Wood would have to start negotiations with third party logistics and wanted to source logistic group and supply. Ross Wood also wanted to have a number of initiatives and going offshore. The pros would be to reduce headcount from outsourcing. The number of initiatives would save money. A con would be an additional cost of 3PL and going offshore would entail a lot of planning and funds to move. Okay. Pause. Oh, we did a pause. So alternative uh, three would be a uh, quid pro quo. Uh, the company is newly forming and showing considerable growth potential. So the pros for this would be uh, to keep on the same path to let uh, maturity from being newly acquired assets to the Dixon's Electronics and number of division have been sold and purchased to small companies. Uh, the cons are range of in industrial consumers have diminished in size due to uh, the selling of divisions. And another con is uh, president's expectation would not be met to reduce uh, hand uh, headcount or reduction of the bottom line. And for uh, the solution number four, we have the employee uh, of a new head for the centralized supply function. So due to Rosswood being second in command at another location, the outcome for improvements would, could be uh, hindered due to the interviewing all possible candidates. So the pros uh, are new hire would have experience in the current position and Rosswood all department would not lose its second in command. And the cons are uh, the current promotion was not giving uh, a proper interview with the new candidates. Uh, one new head would not have insight on the current company uh, overview. For solution number five, uh, we suggested that establishing a mediator or outsource. So basically establish a mediator to work with the clouds department and the outsource uh, of the logistics group. The pros for that would be reduce the personnel to meet uh, the president's demand. And the saving would be implemented by reducing the 30% the uh, unproductivity. And the cons for that are the mediator needs time to establish a strategy to effectively communicate between uh, the departments. And another con is to outsource the logistic group. Uh, the outsourcing of the logistics group can be clash with the clouds department and will also cost additional money to the budget. For the last solution, we have uh, the accounts payable in supply and establish a strategy for purchasing. So basically utilizing the acquired members from uh, accounting to supply and enforce a stronger purchase producer. Uh, the pros are uh, one, invoices would be made directly uh, with the supply personal making the purchase. Uh, and second, uh, implementing a process to probably, probably uh, request supplies and forecasting to reduce cost. Uh, the cons for solution number six are uh, Ross Wood would have direct accountability to all purchases and establishing a process takes time to implement and to be created. So, so for our recommendation and establish a mediator, uh, we have picked alternative number five to establish a mediator in working with Claude's department and outsource the logistics group. Uh, this would meet the president's expectations of reducing headcount. The second demand of reducing bottom line 
would be to increase cost savings of due 30% due to inefficiency of communication between teams to settle voucher discrepancies. Possible barriers would be the additional cost of outsourcing a third party logistics group. And another barrier would be the mediator needs to establish a policy and have outcomes with the accounts payable department.